Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to determine the area of main steel of concrete section. So you can see the problem here. It says determine the area of main steel required for the beam assuming the following material strengths. FCK and FYK are given and you can see variable load and dead load also given. And in this figure you can see they are marked span as 7 meters and you can see the cross section here so they mark d equals 450 millimeters and b equals 275 millimeters so first we have to know what are the d and b so d is the effective depth effective depth is the distance from top of the beam section to middle of the tension reinforcement bars B is the breadth of the section. So you can see both B and D in this figure. FCK is the characteristic compressive cylinder strength of concrete at 28 days. FYK is the characteristic yield strength of reinforcement that is steel. So here again the problem. So now we will see how we determine the area of main steel. First we have to find ultimate load which is W. So we can find ultimate load using this equation. So 1.35 GK plus 1.5 QK. GK is the dead load while QK is the variable load. So GK and QK are given in the problem so I can substitute those values. When I substitute it I will get this and when I simplify this I will get answer as 28.2 kN per meters. Next we have to find design moment which is MED. MED can be found using this equation so it says WL squared over 8. So I can substitute 28.2 as the W and this L is the span. So span is given in the problem it's 7 meters. So I can substitute that value as well. And when I simplify this, I will get 172.7 kN meters. Next, I have to find ultimate moment of resistance, which is MRD. MRD equals 0.167 FCK BD squared. FCK should be substituted units of megapascal, and B and D both are units millimeters. So FCK, B and D are given in our problem, so I can substitute those values into this equation. So you can see here 10 to the power minus 6, so uh, this is stand for unit conversion. So once I simplify this, I can get 232.5 kN meters. That is the value of MRD. So now we can compare values of MRD and MED. So we will see MRD is greater than MED. So since MRD is greater than MED, we have to design this beam as a singly reinforced beam. Next we have to find K0. K0 is equals to MED over FCK BD squared. So this MED should be substituted units of Newton millimeters and FCK in megapascals, B and D both are in millimeters. So MED we found little while ago, uh, this 10 to the power 6 is stands for unit conversion. So I substituted FCK value, B value M, D value. So when I simplify this, I will have 0.124. So it should be less than 0.167. So since our value is less than 0.167, this value is OK. So next task is to find in Z. So here you can see the equation and here D should be substituted units of millimeters. We know D is given in the problem and K0 we found little while ago. So when I substitute those values, I will have Z equals 393.7 millimeters and it should be less than 0.95D. 
so we have to check this value so 0.95 d equals 0.95 times 450 which is effective depth when i simplify this i will have 427.5 so you can see 427.5 is greater than this z value so therefore this value is okay it's less than 0.95 d so this is the required reinforcement area i wrote it as as1 as1 is equals to med over 0.87 fyks med should be substituted units of newton millimeters and fyk in megapascals so i can substitute those values med i found it before and fyk is given in the problem and z is we calculated little while ago so when i substitute those values and simplify it i will have 1008 square millimeters so let's be assume t20 bars are provided so you can assume t16 or t25 so in this calculation i assume t20 bars are provided so next we have to find area of a bar so i will use this equation 5d squared over 4d is the diameter of the bar so since i use t20 bars diameter of the bar is 20 mm so i substitute it so when i simplify this i will have 314.16 square millimeters next i will find number of bars number of bars can be found required steel area divided by area of a bar so i found required steel area it's 1008 and i will divide it area of a bar which is 314.16 so when i simplify this i will have 3.2 bars so i can't provide 3.2 bars therefore i will provide 4 bars so i wrote here 4 bars should be provided next i can find provided steel area so is provided is equals to number of bars provided times area of a bar so number of bars provided is 4 and area of a bar is 314.16 so once i simplify this i will have 1257 square millimeters so this is the provided steel area so now i can draw the cross section of this concrete beam so you can see I mark the effective depth as d equals 450, and this is the bed. And you can see there are four bars, so I marked here as 4 t20, which means I provided four bars to the this concrete cross section.